What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. <clears throat> if you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is the free general collective reading. Cops are side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Okay, so the last reading I just did on the pro public guise of spiritual workers, undercover prostitute um, reading, um, this is completely different. Um, which that was a great reading. Um, I would love some news links on that, you guys. I'm serious. Um, if you find news links on them or you know some, somebody connected to the case or what have you, I would love some information on that when it gets busted up because I feel like it's going to be big. I feel like it's going to be big. And um, I love that I channeled in the energy on that. I'm just saying. Um, so if, if you find the news link or you are connected to somebody that's working the case or you are working the case or what have you. Um, I would love the information on that. Just saying, just saying. Uh, when it becomes available and whatnot, um, of course. Um, just throwing that out there. Okay, so free general collective reading. So it's very important. I only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Um, thanks everybody for all the love and support to the channel. We're 11,310 right now. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. You guys are bomb.com. Thanks for supporting a single mama and two kids income stream. Appreciate it. Just saying, just saying. Okay, so, but this one is completely different, but it's a good one. It's a good one. Um, you know, sometimes I'm pulling the crazy. So this is a good one. So, um, you know, we take the good and the bad over on this channel. We know that. So just saying. Okay, so, um, so let's roll. So the channel message I received was um, through many series of chain of events, a masculine and a feminine energy are going to end up really, really truly caring for each other. They're going to end up falling in love and they're not going to mean to do so. Um, that's what I heard. So you plug it in how it resonates. That's beautiful, man. Um, really that's how those kind of things happen to be honest with you um true love affection and caring that usually is how it happens um you don't won't mean for it to happen it just happens um in the universe um if you truly you like you're not looking for it but it just comes upon you kind of thing um and usually those kind of things happen over time usually they happen over time and um usually because you're not looking for it you're not looking for it and you're usually outgrowing and manifesting yourself and bettering yourself or putting good into the universe or hopefully putting good into the universe or um you know we're focusing on yourself or what have you um you're not looking for it so usually it develops over time after conversation and connection is formed and um what have you Usually that's how, how it happens is what I'm trying to say. Usually, seriously, just for real, for real. I've lived a lot of life, you guys. I'm 38. I'm all, I'll be 39 in July. I've lived a lot of freaking life, man. So, and it's happened like that to me before. And I'm just being serious. So, um, so I understand. So whoever this is for, that's what it kind of sounds like it's going to happen. Uh, in my opinion, evaluate the spiritual download. Um, it's a masculine and a feminine energy. Um, I heard through many series of chain events, they're going to end up um, really, it sounds like developing a bond, a connection, and really caring for one another. And the, I heard they're going to end up falling in love with each other. Um, but they're not going to mean to do it. And it sounds like both of them are not going to mean to do it. Um, but it sounds like it's going to happen. But usually that's when that kind of crap happens. And I'm just being for real. For real. Trust me, it's happened to me in life. It's happened to me like that one time in my life. One time. Um, did I ever, and did I ever end up dating that person? No. No. Mm -mm. No. Now, I think it was a little one-sided on my end with my particular situation. Of course, everybody's on different time of life paths. I'll just tell you my story. Um, it was a little more one-sided on my end. Um, I was way more mature than the other person at that time and point in time in life. And do I connect with that person now? No. Um, it's been a long, long time. It's been many years. We never dated. We never even went out on a date. Um, but 
I was way more on a more mature wavelength than he was at that point in time in life is what I'm trying to say. Um, and you know, those kind of things happen is what I'm trying to say. They happen. Um, you live and you learn and you move on is what I'm trying to say. Um, but it has happened for me like that one time in my life is what I'm trying to say. And that is the time it happened for me in my life, that one particular time. But whoever this is for, this is what that reminds me of. But but this, I heard, is going to be mutual. It's going to be mutual. Like my situation, the um, story I just told you, I think there were, he didn't have feelings the way I did. I Now hindsight 2020, I know. I know he didn't. He didn't have feelings the way I did. Um, at all, at all, at all, at all. It was way more on my end than it was his, way more. Um, and I know that now, and I've healed from it. I've come to accept it. I grew from it. I learned from it, and um, I accepted it. Um, and I know I can call it for for what it is, for what, um, call it, it is what it is now. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, it was hard to accept back then, but um, of course, it's been many years, many years, but um, but it's the truth. It's the truth. Um, it is what it is. But this particular situation, if this resonates for you, it's a masculine and feminine energy. I heard through many series of chain events. So it hasn't happened yet. It sounds like it's upcoming in the universe. Of course, everybody's on a different time of life has. I don't know if it's going to happen for you guys starting, upcoming, starting in a day, in an hour, in 10 weeks, in five days. I mean, I, you know, everybody's on different time of life paths so you have to plug it in how it resonates but it is a definitely a masculine and a feminine energy i can tell you that for sure for sure both of these people it sounds like it's going to happen mutually because i heard mutual between the masculine and feminine energies it's going to happen it sounds like equally um they're no, both of them are not going to mean for it to happen but it is going to happen i heard caring affection and love i mean like now whether they end up dating um, or not, I didn't hear that, but you know, I don't know. Um, only, you know, your story, not anybody else. And it's upcoming. It has not happened yet. It sounds like the universe, but hopefully somebody can get some foresight on this. Um, but it, but true, true, pure love. It will be, but it's going to take some time, but both of these people will fight it. But it will happen. Holy shit. Whoa. Oh, my God. I heard true. Oh, my God. What? I heard true, true, true love it will be. But um, it's going to take time. And both of these people will fight it. So, yeah. Well, that makes sense. Okay. So, if the, you're the masculine in this or you're the femme in this, I don't know. Uh, it hasn't happened yet. Maybe when it starts happening, maybe you can start plugging yourself in um if you resonate of course do not force any of these messages if they don't resonate i want a disclaimer that too but wow you guys um i heard it will be true love it will be but both of these people are going to fight it so both of them don't want it they don't want it maybe they're one of them's going to be married maybe one's going to be in a committed relationship maybe one just wants to remain single or they both want to remain single or what have you i mean i don't know only you know your story, not anybody else. But it is it sounds like it's gonna develop over time, over time, over time with connection and conversation and you know, ex life experiences and you know, events that happen in their world together, I'm assuming. Um, they will be together it sounds like platonically in some shape, form, or fashion, in some kind of situation. I don't know if it's a workplace situation, a social situation, a um ball team situation a school situation um a neighborhood situation some kind of situation sounds like they're going to be together platonically in in some shape form or fashion um they're both going to fight it um so it makes me wonder if some of these people are married if they're going to be like legally married and you know they don't want to you know cheat on their partner or what have you and i get that um if that's the case kudos to you sir or ma'am because um you know i understand that but um but i heard it's going to be true love it's going to be true love uh but both of these people are going to fight it but it's going to be true true caring and affection there which is going to develop into the love part wow you plugging in how it resonates man 
We haven't pulled any lovey dovey kind of messages in here in a hot minute. A hot, hot minute. Holy crap. But this is going to be over time. Just to let everybody know. It's going to be over freaking time. These people are going to fight it. It's a masculine them energy. They're going to fight it. They don't want it. They don't want it. They don't want it. But it sounds like they're going to get along or they will be forced to communicate or maybe they will be working together or they will be in close proximity of each other. Either they, either they are now or they're about to be. But it sounds like the communication and the connection and all that hasn't formed yet. So makes me wonder if some of these situations, they haven't come into connection yet. Maybe for some they have, and it's just like the communication or the events have not occurred yet to form the good bond or communication or life events to kind of bond them together uh, with like memories and things like that. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm feeling. Wow. Holy crap, man. Okay, so I shuffled. I got beauty on the bottom of the deck. Oh my god! But this is this is going to be true, true connection here. And like I said, you know, only you are the master of your universe, there, you guys. You are the master of your universe. So, what you if you plug into this, if you end up plugging into this, you are the master of your destiny. So, of course, you will have choices to make with this down the line. I just want to uh, make that very abundantly clear. Um, you are the master of your own destiny. Holy moly. So, beauty upright. It's going to be a beautiful connection. For some, they have already connected. For some, they have not connected yet. Through many series of chain events, they will connect. Oh, my God. Okay, so it's at least two situations in the universe. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit. If you do, please don't force it if, if it don't resonate, okay? So some of them, they've already connected. So some of you guys, you've already connected with this person. Um, whether you're masculine or femme, you've already, I feel you've already connected. Like communication or what have you. Communication or maybe it's a church function or a social function or a ball team or a school or work or what have you some kind of connections are even formed you already communicate with them it doesn't sound like very often though or very much yet but it sounds like it's going to progress for some the connection hasn't happened yet i heard through many series of chain of events it will occur so i feel that could be moving to a new location meeting somebody uh, or transferring jobs to a different location meeting somebody um whether it's in the workplace, physically, or out in the community. Um, I, I feel like moving energy. I didn't hear that. That's just kind of what I'm feeling for some. Like transfer energy through your company, possibly, or different company and physically moving. Um, or going to a new church, possibly, if you're in, if you're into church. Um, or going to, um, or getting on a new ball team. Or going to a new school. Or starting a new hobby. Um but some kind of connection that has not happened in the universe yet about to happen. Whoa! And it's going to be beautiful, apparently. It's going to be a beautiful connection. Like, it sounds like a meaningful meaningful connection. Like, you're going to get along with this person. You're going to get along with them. You're going to enjoy their company. You're going to like communicating with them. Um, so much so, it's going to turn into actual feelings down the line. But you're both going to fight it. This sounds like a freaking, not like a Harlequin, Harlequin romance, but like a love story. Um, but we heard love in here at the beginning. Let's pull a card. Holy crap. Spirit messages you have reflected. Protection. I heard pull another one. I got strength on the bottom of the deck. I heard pull another one. Let me see if I hear anything. Wow, man. Deep, deep, deep conversations will occur down the line. It will take lots of strength to do so, but it will happen. Know this. Oh, my God. Whoa. So you plug it in how it resonates. I heard deep, deep conversations will occur down the line. It will take a lot of strength to do this, but it will happen. 
So um, you masculine or feminine, you could be the one having the deep conversations with this person. I think you're going to tell them how you feel um, or tell them about something in your life um, that you feel you can trust with them. Um, that's what I feel because I feel you wouldn't be telling them something down the line, deep, deep, something, something, whatever the hell it is, whoever you are down the line, if you didn't trust them. And that's just the truth for real, for real. You're going to trust this person. You are definitely going to trust this person um, in order. It's something very deep. It's something very fucking deep. I mean, I don't feel it's something you're just going to tell Bob the Postman or Sally Joe, your um, science partner. You know, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's deep stuff. It could be childhood trauma. It could be crazy experiences you've experienced in your life that maybe people call you crazy and you know this part you know you can trust this person and they're not going to call you crazy that's what i'm feeling like you at this point when this occurs i feel y'all have already really formed the bond of connection feelings has already started maybe started stirring possibly i don't feel it full-blown has fell into love part there yet um i think this might develop into the love part because once you know you can trust the person, I don't know about you guys, but I don't fall easily in love. I just don't. But one of the factors for me to fall into love with somebody is to know I can trust them. But it's hard for me to get trust these days. It's really, really hard for me to trust because I have been gang stalked so many years in my community and in my life. And it has been terrible. It has been terrible the past few years. It's been terrible. And so... It's hard for me to trust anybody for me personally. Of course, everybody's different and I'm, I'm working on that. But um, but that's just me. But whoever you are, I feel you're guarded with this information. Um, but you're going to be able to trust this person enough at this point. Of course, this is way down the line, you guys. This isn't, you know, this is down the line. Just let you know um, that you're going to be able to have the strength to tell this person. It's going to be something very deep. Um, I feel maybe childhood trauma or or something crazy that's happened or some kind of super duper secret or something. Um, how that resonates. You could be a Leo or just taking on Leo energy or have Leo in your chart to take on this energy. Everybody takes on all signs energy. So you can be any sign that takes on Leo energy when you do this. The strength, uh, strength card in the Rider weight is Leo energy. So you'll definitely be taking on Leo S type energy when you deliver the secret secrets, deep Dooku, whatever it is um, to this person. But it's going to be down the line. It sounds like down the line. Some of you guys have not connected with this person yet. Some you already have. But um, the ones that have not connected with them through many series of chain events, it sounds like you're about to soon. I'm thinking for some. So you plug it in how it resonates and we have protection. Oh, we got to hurry up because we got to hurry up. <laughs> I got to use the facilities. Um, number 21 and number two could be very significant numbers in one's life. 21 or two. It could be a possible age of a child of yours or somebody you're connected to. Possible lottery number, possible day birth number, possible green card number, possible social security card number, possible jersey number. Um, number 21 and two. Protection. These connections are going to be very protected. Energies are about to really, really start shifting in the universe and bringing people together that need to be brought together. Holy crap. So you plug it in how it resonates. This is a freaking beautiful reading, man. I don't think I've done a be as beautiful as a reading of this. As I have in a, uh, a long time. And I'm serious. Um, this is truly beautiful. Now, you can be any sign. I have not heard signs in here yet. You really can be any sign that this resonates with. I have I have not heard a sign in here. I feel it really could go for any signs. You just have to plug yourself in how it resonates. I haven't heard signs. So, um, I heard the connection is going to be very protected. So, I feel it's for many of you guys. Of course, you have to plug yourself in wherever you resonate, if you resonate. It's going to be very uh, protected. Now, whether you turn it into something, whether you actually end up dating this person or 
or more or what have you. Of course, that's on you and your free will and you, this person's on them and their free will. I just want to make that clear, okay? Everybody's a master and manifestor of their own destiny here. Um, but I heard basically um, the connections are protected. That basically the universe is about to start shifting people into connections that need to be shifted into. Um, so the universe sounds like it's about to um, make these shifts um, through many series of chain events for some of you guys. For some, you've already connected with this person. Um, you just haven't, I don't feel communications really flowed, flowed, flowed really good yet. Um, but universal shift energy here. So the universe is about to do this through many series of chain events. So something's gonna happen in the universe to bring some of these people together, some of you guys together. Because some of you haven't connected yet. So the universe is going to do it. Now, however the universe does it, it could be shifts in ball teams. It could be shifts in schools. It could be um, transfer energy. If it's a workplace situation, it could be moving locations for a job or moving locations for some other reason. Um, however that resonates, it really can resonate in a million different ways. But that to me is universal shift energy. Um, the universe is making this change. Um, because of something big happening either in your life or this person's life, which is going to bring you together. Universal shift energy. Um, but I heard the protection, um, the connections, or it sounds like divinely protected. I didn't hear divinely protected, but that's what I'm feeling. I heard they're very uh, protected. That basically the universal shift energy is about to make this happen. I feel divine protection here. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow, man, this is some strong positive energy um i feel the universe really um needed this and i'm serious because you know it's good to freshen up the universal space every now and then i feel um the universe needed this um at least in my readings <laughs> recently um but you plug it in how it resonates let me see if i hear anything else one of these specific connections is the connection of the past it's going to take a lot here. Both of these people are not going to want it. But eventually down the line, it will happen. Holy shit, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. So I heard one of these connections is a connection from the past. So it's some kind of connection from the past energy. So you have known this person from the past. And whoever this is for, this specific message, I don't think you've connected with them yet. I think you're in this category over here. I don't think you've already connected. I think you're in this category over here and you haven't connected yet. It, it sounds like the universal shift energy is about to make this happen. Um, I heard you're both not going to want it. As somebody from the past, you're both not going to want this down the line. These feelings, this caring, this deep, I mean, this love. I heard love. My God. I don't use love lightly on here. Y'all know that. But I got the download. So, I mean, I don't shoot the messenger. But I heard you're not going to want the caring, the feelings, um, or the love. Neither one of you are, though. Neither one of you are. <laughs> it's somebody from your past. <laughs> this is hilarious. Um, I heard you're not going to want it, man. But neither, but in all fairness, neither one of you are. But I heard it's going to happen whether either one of you want it to or not. Something is going to happen in the universe, it sounds like, through many series of chain events to kind of universally align this. Um <laughs> Wow, it is crazy how the damn universe works, man. Holy shit, I'm holy. This is crazy. Oh my God. You plug it in, how it resonates. So divine protection energy here. I'm going to pull one more card. This is, wow. That's all I can say. Wow. And I'm sure you and this other person is going to have to have a lot of strength because I heard you both aren't going to want it. Um, you both, I mean, the, the love, the caring, the affection, you're going to be together in some kind of something, something, um, whatever it is, it could be a collaboration. It could be a workspace. It could be a ball team. It could be school. I mean, it could be a million different things, but you're not going to want it, man. You are not going to want it, but it, neither one of you, but it somehow it's going to happen. Um, it sounds like the universe is gonna make it and not make it happen but it's going to align it to where it can happen because there will be feelings there the feelings are going to be real between you two they're going to be real but it's going to take a hell of a long time for them to develop especially this connection from the past because i heard it's going to take a lot of healing uh because something 
it sounds like effed up, really effed up in the past happened um, between whoever this is for, um, between you. But over time, um, it, for some it could be six months, for some it could be six years, but somehow over time it's going to happen. You plug it in how it resonates. My God. Spirit messages you have reflect this. One of these particular connections is going to be an amazing work connection. Amazing. It is going to be very beneficial for the company. Okay, I heard one of these specific connections has not happened yet. Has not happened yet. Okay. One of these, so it's over here. So one of these specific connections is a, um, a workplace situation connection. I heard it has not happened yet. That's specific from the spiritual realm. So it's over here because there's two categories. Some of you guys have already connected. Some you haven't. And that's the universal shift energy. Um, and so this work, specific workplace situation, it could be the people from the past possibly for some of you guys. But you plug it in how it resonates. But um, I heard it's going to be an awesome workplace connection. It's going to be an awesome workplace connection. So whoever you guys are, um, you either worked together before and it's been freaking amazeballs or you're about to start working together and it's about to be freaking amazeballs. But it sounds like you're on the same wavelength work-wise or you have the same knowledge skill sets or different knowledge and skill sets and it collabs together and makes it form cohesively. How that resonates. But um, I pull transformation, but I heard it's going to be an amazing workplace dynamic. So the workplace is going to be popping. And I don't feel in a sexual sense. It's going to be like in a, I feel intellectual, popping, cohesive way. I heard it's going to be very beneficial for the company. So it's going to be like popping for the company in a positive, productive way is what I'm trying to say. Not like a um, you know, uh, kinky secretary rip off your clothes way. Not like that. Like a very protective, uh, not very protective, very productive workplace dynamic. I feel both of you guys are on the same level mentally. Um, and I feel you both are very strong and bring a lot to the table. Um, and I heard it hasn't happened yet. So whoever is about to Make this universal shift happen. For some, you could be the one about to make this universal shift happen, possibly for some. You have to plug yourself in wherever you resonate if you do. You could be over here. You could be over here. You could be one of the people about to make these universal shifts happen. Um, so this one's already happened. But you plug it in how it resonates. Um, how are, but one of them is a specific, a specific workplace situation. I'll tell you that. But it hasn't happened yet. But I heard it's going to be very, very, very beneficial for the company. That is for day I go, sure. Ooh, that sounds very country. That is for sure. Sorry. That sounded very country. I am from Alabama. Just saying. Um, so, yeah. Transformation. Number eight could be a very significant number in one's life. Number eight, it could be a possible age of a child of yours or somebody you're connected to. Possible lottery number. Possible date of birth number. Possible green card number. Possible jersey number. Possible um, lottery number. Number eight. Transformation. There will be huge, huge, huge changes. Huge to this company with these this dynamic duo oh my god some kind of dynamic duo energy in a workplace situation man this is freaking amaze balls okay i heard but it hasn't happened yet this one has not happened yet it's about to it's over in this category this one's already happened so dynamic duo energy i heard it's about to be dynamic duo energy for these two but it's in the workplace situation so you know transformation i heard it's going to be amazing for the company so it's going to be freaking amazeballs for the company i heard huge changes coming for the company i think both of these people are all about the business they both get in there get their work done they make it happen i think both of them are go-getters I think both of them are on the same leap, wavelength, energetically, work-wise, is what I'm trying to say. And I think that's what makes them the dynamic duo, the dynamic duo. But somebody knows this, and I think you might know this. One of you guys, I think you are about to help universally shift this to make this happen, is what I think for some. I mean, my God is all in the cards and the uh, messages. Um, uh, beauty, protection, transformation. 
Um, also, this is Scorpionic energy, just to let everybody know. Uh, so for some, you could be a Scorpio or be dealing with a Scorpio, possibly. If you are or dealing with a Scorpio, they could have Scorpio in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and Inhaven, or Jupiter charts, because uh, Transformation card is Scorpionic energy, possibly. Um, you plug it in, however it resonates. Wow, man. Dynamic duo energy in a workplace situation. This is freaking amazeballs. Art is going to be huge positive changes for the company. I mean, so these two get in there and get her done. But I think one of you guys knows this, and you're about to universally shift this to make this happen for this company. I think you might all work in the company together, possibly. Wow. Let me see if I hear anything else. I'm glad I did this one. I'm glad I did the other one, too. But, wow. Several shocking series of chain events are going to happen with many of these situations. It's what you make of it. Remember this. And how you handle these situations appropriately. Okay. So I heard several shocking series of chain events are going to happen with these situations. There's many situations here. I mean, this is universal shift energy. This is not playing around. This is, I feel for many of you guys, but of course you have to plug yourself in where you fit. Um, some of you guys, I feel are going to be the universal shifters to make this happen. And I'm serious about that. I do. I feel your big wigs or heavy hitters or something of that nature. And you're about to make this shit happen for your company, or at least in this one specific situation. And I'm serious as hell about that. Some kind of dynamic duo energy, but you know, both of these people. And you know it's going to, you have heavy foresight and intuition. You know it's going to be good for your company. That's exactly what I think. I feel heavy hitter energy here. I feel big wig energy here. I think you're the universal shifter energies here, you guys. I'm serious about that. And then we have connections that's already been formed. So, you know, however that plugs in and whatever sector in life, that resonates. Connections that haven't been formed. And then the one specific workplace Dynamic duo energy over here. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Holy crap, man. This is freaking amazeballs. I heard several shocking series of chain events are going to occur in this. Um, it is what you make it um, and how you handle these situations appropriately, basically. So that's for at least for one of you guys in here. Whether you're the heavy hitter energy, I feel manager, boss, CEO, supervisor energy, possibly for the workplace, dynamic duo, possibly. Or heavy hitter energy. Um, I do feel you guys are the universal shifters here for some of these situations. Um, for the workplace, I feel. Uh, you could be the universal shifter, shifter energy for the other situations. Because I feel it could go other ways. Um, social functions. Um, award ceremonies. Uh, games. Uh, ball uh, ball uh, teams. Um Religious activities, possibly religious services, um, um, spiritual, spiritual 3D services, possibly. Um, I don't go to any spiritual 3D services, but possibly for some of you guys. Um, neighborhood barbecues. I mean, it really, to me, can plug in moon different ways. But there is one specific workplace situation in here that's about to form a dynamic duo. I'll tell you that for sure, for sure. Um, and these people are not going to want it to happen on the personal realm. But it sounds like they are freaking fantastic together, working-wise together. But I think you guys know this, and you're about to make it happen. This is exactly what I think. But you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. I heard it's all in how you handle these situations. Um, it's what you make of it and how you handle it. So that's at least for one of you guys out there, whether you're the heavy hit feeling, heavy hitter, big wig energy, or... You're in this situation or you're in this situation or however that resonates, okay? Uh, but it, but the, it is protected. These connections are, protect, are protected. I feel divine protection here. Um, I do. I didn't hear divine protection, but I feel divine protection here. I really do. Um, definitely protected, though. I'll tell you that. All right. Let me see if I hear anything else. Oh, this is a long reading. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. All right, you guys, we're done. I hope this helped. Love you guys so much. Namaste.